Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss what is unification and what are the conditions to perform unification in first order logic with the help of simple examples in artificial intelligence. Unification is a process used to find a substitutions in such a way that uh, we can make two different first order logical expressions look identical. For example, let's assume that we have a first order logical expression something like this King John and then uh, king x here so there are two uh, different uh, first order logical expressions are there so in this case you can see here uh, if you want to make these uh, two uh, different uh, first order logical expressions uh, look identical we have to replace this particular x that is variable with some other uh, object in this case so what we can do if i replace this uh, x by john this will become king john and this will become king John in this case. So both will look exactly the same in this case. So unification is one of the very important uh, component in first order logical inference algorithms. Uh, let's assume that uh, uh, P and Q are two different uh, first order logic expressions here and uh, theta is a substitution. Whenever uh, we substitute this theta into P and theta into Q, this P and Q will look exactly identical in this case. So that's the reason theta is called as the unifier value in this case. Now we will understand what are the different conditions uh, to perform unification. The first condition is uh, whenever we want to perform unification, we need to make sure that the predicate symbol should be same in both the expressions. If uh, the predicate symbol is different, we cannot perform unification here. Similarly, uh, there should be the same number of arguments in both the expressions. If that is the case, we can perform the unification. The third condition is whenever we have uh, the same variable present in two different expressions, then the unification is not possible here. Now we will take some examples to understand the unification here. Let's assume that we want to perform unification between these two expressions, that is, uh, nose John, comma, x and nose john comma jane in this case in this case uh, the predicate symbol is same in both the expressions that is uh, nose here and the number of arguments are two in the first case and two in the second case also so we can perform unification next what we need to do is we need to find the substitute for the variable in this case if you notice the first argument is john and the first argument is john in both the expressions so there is no need to do any substitution but if you look at the second one, that is x, x is uh, the variable here and jane is the object or the constant in the second uh, expression. So we need to find uh, some substitute for this x so that both of these, the expressions looks identical here. So what we can do, we can replace this x with jane so that it will become nose john comma jane, nose john comma jane in this case. So what is the substitution in this case? x should be replaced with jane here. Similarly, we want to perform unification between these two expressions that is nose john comma x nose y comma bill in this case. Now again, uh, nose is the predicate symbol which is present in both the expressions. There are two arguments in both the expressions so we can perform unification if we are able to replace these variables with some substitutions so that we will get the identical expressions here. Now, if you look at here, this particular uh, y can be replaced with John in this case. If I replace it with John, it will become John comma x and this will become John comma Bill here. Similarly, I can replace this x by Bill, then it will become John comma Bill and John comma Bill here. Both the expressions looks exactly identical. So that's the reason x should be replaced with Bill and y should be replaced with john in this case. Coming back to the third example, uh, we want to perform unification between nose john comma x, nose y comma mother of y in this case. Now how can you perform the unification between these two expressions is? First we need to find the substitute for this uh, y here. Uh, the substitute for y is john in this case because john is present in the first argument and y is present in the first argument of both the expressions here. So that's the reason y should be replaced with John. That is the first thing. So if I replace y by John, the expressions look something like this. This will be John. This x will be as it is. This will become John here. And this will become mother of John in this case. 
next what we can perform next uh, we can replace this x by what is that known as mother of john in this case so if i replace x by mother of john the expression looks something like this john this will be mother of john here and this will be john mother of john is already present here so both the expressions looks exactly identical hence theta is equal to x should be replaced with mother of john and y should be replaced with john in this case coming back to the last example that is we want to perform unification between nose john comma x and nose x comma elizabeth here now there is the same uh, variable present in two expressions uh, we try to check it out whether there is a possibility of unification or not in the first iteration what we can do is we can replace this particular x by john here so if i do that particular thing it will become something like this nose john comma john because x is replaced with what john here and this will be john and this will be elizabeth here so after first iteration we will get john john and this will be john elizabeth here whenever we replace x by john in this case now what we can do we cannot do anything here and both these expressions are not exactly same the meaning of this one is we have the same predicate symbol in both the expressions the number of arguments are same because the same variable is present in two expressions we cannot perform the unification and unification fails in this case now what we can do so whenever we have the same variable in two expressions we can replace one variable with the unused new variable in this case that is nothing but in this case we can replace this x by y so that the expression will look something like this that is nose y comma elizabeth here so the first expression is nose john comma x second one is nose y comma elizabeth in this case now what we can do is we can perform the unification between this and this one here what we can do is we can replace uh, x by elizabeth and y by john in this case so that we will get the unified the expressions here whenever we change the variables from one to other this is called as standardizing in this case so in this case uh, we need to replace x by elizabeth and y by john so that both the expressions looks exactly identical here so theta is equal to x should be replaced by elizabeth and y should be replaced by john in this case so this is how we can perform the unification between the two expressions in this video i have discussed what is unification what are the different conditions to perform unification and uh, i have discussed the unification process with simple examples in the next video i will discuss a few more examples i will place the link for that video in the description below i hope the concept of unification is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching